let me share with you a tricky question which tests your pattern recognitions and logical reasoning skills. You're presented with rectangle, which inside of it contains six different shapes, and one of the shapes is missing. You need to determine which shapes completes the figure, and you're presented with four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. All of these choices look very similar. Now is the good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct solution together. As usual, my recommendation to you is always look for patterns. And there are two different patterns presented here in this particular question. Let's look at the pattern one. Pattern one defines that the shapes go in the horizontal rows. For example, this is the shape one, this is the shape two, and this is the shape three. I group them as shape 1.1, meaning that the first one represents the first row, shape 1. The next shape is first row, shape 2. And the third shape is the first row, shape 3. Similar pattern will exist for the bottom row. Now let's look at the pattern 2. And pattern 2 represents 90 degree clockwise outside shape rotation around the circle in the middle. As you can see, there is always a circle in the middle and the outside shapes rotate around this circle. So let's follow the triangle. Let's look at the first shape. Here, triangle points to the top. In the next shape, triangle rotates 90 degree clockwise and points to the right. In the following shape, triangle rotates another 90 degrees and follows to the bottom. A very similar pattern will exist here in the bottom row. Therefore, the missing part of the figure contains the shapes that rotate 90 degrees to the right. So the correct answer here is choice C. Let's recap. There are two patterns here in this question. The first pattern is the fact that each row represents a horizontal set of shapes, which rotates as sequential number of shapes increases. And the second pattern indicates that the shapes rotate clockwise around the circle in the middle. Therefore, the correct answer here is choice C. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar questions on the test. Thanks for watching. Please check out our free and premium resources on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net. Also, please make sure to check out available downloads specific to this video in the description section. Also, please consider following online training for everyone. We have a great community of dedicated followers here in this channel to help you learn technology, pass the interview and assessment test. Also, please share this video with others who you think might benefit from the content. Leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the description section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.